Uh, we'll do something interesting here that Marcos told me about. Um, and it's a relay, correct? So that yes. we can do one job and just jump right to the next without exactly. any intervention. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that, what we call a relay run. So it'll, like Dave said, we're, we'll jump to one job to the other. Okay, so we'll start with the first part that we're gonna be bending. The small part, we'll register that. we'll go ahead and uh, select a loading device which here it'll be fourth and this one would be on the sixth That's it, yeah. That's so now, okay. now so it, it, it's going to start taking out the tools, bringing the other one as in. As soon as you hit OK? Yes. OK. So I'll, uh, I'll get over here. All right, so we're back in front of the machine. And the task now to, is to get rid of the tooling that we had for the first part set up for the second part and then rather than stopping it'll continue on to the third part setup correct Marcos and here we go So what it does is, uh, of course, it's using a, a different uh, gripper hand here. So what it does is it goes in, it goes in through the orifice of the actual tool. You see yeah. the little orifice on top? Yeah. And it has a little uh, push button there, which the actual gripper activates and releases it from it. Okay. It goes, clamps it in, gets it out, puts it back into its place. Same goes for the punch on top. Now we were talking before, um, you could potentially have an all day uh, layout of tools in, in the um, storage area here. Yes, uh, the stockers here, yes. You can go yeah. ahead, like I uh, mentioned before, you have over 90 feet of tooling that this uh, robot can hold, which is a lot of tools that it can, it can carry for different and multiple jobs. A lot of variety of thicknesses, material types. So it just depends on the project that's gonna be done that day yeah. and how it's programmed. The whole idea here is that uh, these days uh, jobs are all about short run, uh, 
any changeover, right? As opposed to back in the old days of you'd run a million parts and not change it for two days. Right, I guess, yeah, the uh, versatility of uh, the uh, actual robot here is, you know, you can do multiple projects in one day. Having the flexibility of the uh, robot changing and, and having to do the tool change as well, yeah. um, it's a huge help to customers. Even though we're not talking about an ATC type automated tooling setup, this setup is still, it's gotta be faster than uh, a guy like me trying to set up a job, for example. Well, somebody better than me, but you know what I'm saying. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Now it's actually going to change a different gripper hand to uh, accommodate for this little part here that we're about to show. All right. And we just saw that in our last video. And you can see the gripper hand's a lot smaller than the one previous. So this is actually 12 bends. 12 bends, wow. 12 bends. Okay. And you see how precise this has to be to engage in the uh, what we call the potentiometers, which is the fingers in the back. Yeah, I just noticed, of course, that the whole thing is uh, automated, which means the back edge is awesome, right? Right, exactly. So you can imagine doing like 100 of these, <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. Wow. Right, and at some point, your hands are going to get tired. Of course. If you're the operator, right? If you're the operator, yes. You would need a break. For the robot, it doesn't take any breaks. goes on the conveyor also. And now, we're going to continue the job. So when it's uh, blowing the air, um, what it's doing, it's blowing any kind of debris or any kind of uh, dust that might get in between the actual uh, gripper hand and the robot. Uh, so okay. if there's no uh, misalignments that could happen there. So that's why there's always uh, air blowing out consistently, keeping it clean. Good idea. So as you can see, of course, it's doing its own tool change from one job to the next. Yeah, and we didn't have to go back and go to the control. Right. You know, like, like, as I mentioned before, of course, you know, uh, this is all done in the software. The relay, of course, we can do it out here in the uh, out here in the controller. Yeah. Uh, it just depends on what project and what part you're going to be doing for that day. Okay. see where this picks up. Let's see. I may have to stop it if it goes a little. Let's see.
around it to get a um, vertical. Wow. So we can let customers know that they can go ahead and uh, achieve really thin uh, width of, uh, of the material here. No, no, that, that's not very wide either, no. and it just hit it, hit the target right on. Yeah. with both jobs wow. <laughs> doing multiple tool changes here. Wow.